Hey guys, it's been a little bit of time since I uploaded any kind of video. I have really good news, at least for myself. I have found my first job, like first post-grad job. I started in the middle of May, so I just didn't have the time to upload. It was such a big change in my life that I had to just be present, try to figure things out. I still have to try to find a new rhythm because working a nine to five or nine to six some days is a big change. Like I have to figure out when I will do grocery shopping, when I will be able to meal prep, when I'll be able to work out or just like do laundry, like basic things. And on top of that, if I want to upload on YouTube, I will have to film the videos on the weekends, edit them on the weekends. Like it will be crazy, but I really want to keep posting videos because I really enjoy it. And I will try to figure out a system. It will take a little bit of time, so please bear with me. But today I really want to share my spring slash May favorites because I'm a really basic person. I don't know if you have been watching my videos for like a few weeks, few months, or since the beginning, who knows, but I'm really grateful. I almost have thousand viewers, not thousand subscribers, which is like amazing. So thank you so much for those who are subscribed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I make videos about lifestyle, my life in France, French skincare and a lot of like different things. I also would love to make some vlogs, what I eat in a day and those kinds of things. But you have to be patient. It will take a little bit of time for me to adapt to my new schedule and to my new job, but I'll try to post as many videos as I can, I promise. I have divided this uh, video into little categories so you can just uh, go to the one that is of interest to you and I hope you will enjoy and I will try to make it as like short as possible. I hate like people who talk for ages. Not that it's not interesting, but obviously your time is precious. So I will just do it really fast. I will start with skincare and hair care. This month I have been using Chloran again in one of my last videos about hair care. I talked about this brand. I love this shampoo. We use it with my boyfriend. So I just repurchased the huge one. It's the mango butter uh, nourishing dry hair shampoo and you can use it with your boyfriend or girlfriend so you just save money you know uh, then I repurchased the mask of Magna Minty by Lush which is a little expensive but um, I find it works really nice and you can keep it for a few weeks once it's opened it doesn't have to go into the fridge and in the summer in the spring I tend to get more acne so this thing works really nicely it has tea tree oil which I really like so this is a thing I always repurchase in summers and on the same note um, I have been reusing Essence Magnifica by Sanofleur which is also a product I have talked about a long time ago in my skincare videos or like French pharmacy products I love. I always repurchase this one in the summer or spring because my face gets oily and has more acne. I almost finished it and I'll repurchase it for the summer as well and then I will have a break for uh, fall and winter again. Another product I love for my hair and I have been purchasing for years is this Kerastas uh, Chronologist oil. So in France, the brand Kerastas has stopped producing this oil, which I love so much. Uh, I was able to get my hands on this one. I think it's one of the last ones from this collection. And later on, I'll have to try to figure out where to buy it. It's my all-time favorite perfumed hair oil. Uh, the last one I had lasted me for four years, which is crazy. It is more expensive, but to me it is worth it since it lasts so long. So I repurchased this one and I love it. Spring and summer, you have to wear sunscreen. Those are my two favorites. I've been really loving the brand La Roche-Posay. Um, so I finished this Antelius 50 plus sunscreen for the face and I repurchased the same one because as I said earlier, I really don't have the time to look for new products and want something works I just repurchase it so this one is amazing I have another one in stock this is a face one and it takes about three or four months for me to finish a face sunscreen because I put it every day under my makeup and since I loved the Antelius uh, range I purchased the big one for the body but this one is a 30 SPF this one is really good as well it's a little bit more expensive than like a um, drugstore bought uh, sunscreen but I know it protects my skin really nicely so I prefer to invest in sunscreen. I, it's one of the things I'm most comfortable with spending money on. Then, still for the body, I have been using this uh, Eucerin Urea Repair Plus 
body lotion for I would say since February so for a few months now and I almost finished it I use it almost every time I take a shower so almost every day or maybe three or four times a week if you have a sensitive skin it doesn't have any perfume and it has 10% of urea on my legs I have something called KP so uh, Keratose Pilaire it's like a skin condition if I can say like strawberry legs doesn't look really good and I have found that uh, urea works really nice on those kinds of things. It definitely helps with the aspect, I would say. And this is also one thing Dr. Dre recommended. One last thing for skincare has been this Brume Océanique de Sirene, which is a hydrating, illuminating and detoxifying little face mist. I would say it is sometimes good to invest in thermal waters. This one has zinc, which is really good if you have acne. And I have found it to work really nice on my skin, so I put this. Then my serum, which I don't have here, but it's the um, CVR serum I showed in another recent video is all about my favorite skincare and then I put my face cream and I've been using that one twice a day for the past three months and I think I have like that much left in it so it's still a good investment for me. Now we have finished with skincare and hair care I just want to show you two little things that are, that are in like a random kind of category i don't know if i call it food or how but i have a tea i have been loving it's from a french tea brand which is called palais d'été i don't know if you can get this brand everywhere in the world it is a french more expensive brand but their teas are delicious and I try to buy as much uh, loose leaf tea as possible because I'm not a fan of like tea bags if I can avoid them. This one is called Jardin Fruité, so it has dates, sea buckthorn berries, goji berries, sweet pineapple, sweet papaya, blueberries, kiwi, cranberry, and it is very good. And having a good tea at night before I go to bed or in the morning before I go to work is nice. So love this one and another thing i have started taking that was two months ago actually uh is cod liver capsules so i have a deficiency in omega-3s and 6 and i have started this thing and i noticed that i feel a little better when it comes to my energy and i think even if not all the things can be seen like on your physical appearance sometimes they can be felt like if you have more energy you feel better so i have been started this thing i can say if it works or not but uh i believe it does now onto the books or shall i say book i'm really not a good reader i always had a i wouldn't even say love hate relationship with books it's like definitely a hate relationship with books because all the books i have read when i was a kid were the, like the mandatory books you have to read for school so i never was really interested into reading but since I started my new job I have been feeling like it would be a good idea to have a relaxing book to read nothing motivational just like a really calm and easy read and I finished this thing in two days which for me it's like extremely rare since I don't like to read it is by Sophie Kinzella it is called The Undomestic Goddess and this book is incredible so let me just read you the the cover so you know what it's about and if you're interested I really recommend you to read it Samantha thrives under pressure a high-powered London lawyer all she can concentrate on is taking the next step in her career. Eating, sleeping, seeing friends, even taking a breath, will have to wait. But just when she's about to get everything she has ever wanted, Samantha makes a mistake. A 50 million pound career destroying mistake. Unable to face the consequences, she does the unimaginable and runs away. Catching the first train she can, she finds herself in the countryside outside of a beautiful grand house. Mistaken for another woman, she falls into a new job as a family housekeeper. Disaster ensues in a blink, her life has shifted from writing briefs to washing them. And she has no idea how to work the washing machine, let alone the oven, a former master on the takeout menu, she is now expected to whip up fine cuisine. Highly recommend for the summer if you want to read a good book. Now I have a really random category which I really didn't know how to call. Uh, I have bought 
and invested in Bluetooth headphones. They're by GBL. I have been using GBL headphones for years and I've always been satisfied with the sound, the quality and the price is usually really affordable, but I really wanted to switch to Bluetooth ones so I can listen to podcasts or uh, audiobooks while I go to work in the morning. So weird to say, me going to work. I think they were like 70 euros, which is really decent for headphones because I don't think I would ever put 200 euros into uh, AirPods. Like to me, it is just an expensive gadget, but I don't know. I'm never gonna say never, but those ones work really nice for now. Uh, another thing, I have started working out a lot and I do climbing. So it doesn't matter if you do bouldering or if you like climb with a partner. I have a weird thing with my toe like my toe hurts in my climbing shoe and I have discovered those protecting preventing pain thingies you put around the big toe and they work really nice and it was like nine bucks you get two of those and they've been really really incredible and they work for any kind of sport so I use them in my climbing shoes but you can also use them if you're a runner or even in like normal shoes if your toe hurt for any kind of reason. So that's a weird little gadget. I didn't know in which category to put it, but it is amazing. I have two random things I wanna show you which are in the more clothing department, if I can say. So this thing, I bought it because I honestly thought it would be really useful and it is. And when I wear it, I feel like an American um, mom, you know, who does like the little jogging in the morning. But this is a hat or a cap, I don't know how to call it but I like to sometimes have my hair up and for the summer it is really good because you don't have the sun on your face, it prevents you from sun damage. That is from CNA and it was I think eight euros, which is really decent. Another thing I love, honestly I'm not about, like I'm not a huge lover of fast fashion. Now that I have a job, I will try to either thrift for things or buy it in like more conscious stores. But sometimes when you don't have the budget to buy things, it is okay if you just can't. So. I had to buy a good blazer for my new job and this one is from Zara so it is it comes from fast fashion I'm really sorry but I have to say it is really good it's long enough it has those little things that look really professional and it's really lightweight so in the summer even with AC, you're not too warm, not too cold. It looks really professional. And that one was, I think, 60 euros, which is a really good price for a blazer because I couldn't afford like putting 200 euros into like a conscious brand blazer. That was just not possible for me since I don't have any, <laughs> any more savings after looking so long for a first job. So I just bought something I could afford and I'm really happy with this purchase, I have to say. Last category is the kitchen slash home. Thanks for your kitchen, if I can say. I have been using glass straws for quite a bit now. I would say since January, 2022. They were really cheap. They call, they come from a store called uh, Suisse Traine Graine. I'll write it somewhere on the screen. I don't know if it's available everywhere. It is, I think, a Danish or Swedish store. Those glass straws were 278, which is super cheap. And see, I use them every day in my coffees because I really hate the taste of plastic straws. Another gadget I have been loving is this milk frother. I got it for Christmas, but since, uh, the, since the month of May, it's been really warm in France and I have been doing cold foam cappuccinos. So this is from the brand Arendo or Arendo, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I think you can get it on Amazon. It is about 50 euros, which is usually the price for a good frother. And this one does warm and cold uh, throughout milk. So I've been using it every day, a few times a day. Really good uh, kitchen gadget. Last thing, it's huge, but let me show you my favorite kitchen thing ever. This is called a vitalizer. So it's been created by a French dietitian. She is called uh, Marion Caplan. She's very famous in France. And this thing has been existing since the year 1985. So quite a while. 
a lot of people that purchase this Vitalizer, which is like a um, steamer, even 30 years ago, still have it and still use it. My boyfriend, when he saw that arrived in our tiny apartment, he was mad at me because obviously it is big, it takes space, but it is very useful. And I have been using it since January when I got it and I use it sometimes twice a day. It's always on my stove. I use it every day for everything. You can make steamed vegetables, meat, cakes, everything. I bought the big one, the uh, Grand Chef. It is really expensive. It was, I think, 300 euros. But to me, this is the kind of investment that is worth it because you're investing in your health. For me, food is really important. I cook almost everything I eat. I rarely eat out. Everything is so quick. So for the vegetables, you can do your potatoes, your mashed potatoes in 10 or 15 minutes. Your carrots are cooked in 10 minutes. Your meat is cooked between five to 10 minutes and you only use like one thing. So you don't have a lot of things to wash. Then you have this, which is called Antami. It has like those little holes. All the toxins just go down. You also have the little cake uh, mold and then you also have this middle part which is for soups and the bottom part you have to just fill it with one third of water and this is how this team is created. To me this is the best kitchen gadget I invested in. I really don't have any regrets. I hope you enjoyed this video which is really different from the videos I usually make. But I really wanted to share the things that make my life easier at the moment and things that for me are worth investing in. Please let me know what is one or two things that make your life easier and that are worth investing for you. I would love to know. I hope to see you on this channel again in a week or in two weeks depending on when I'm able to upload. And don't forget to subscribe and put a little like if you like the video. Salut!